Hi everyone, you, uh, you've joined me at Hatchmore Fishery down in North Devon. I'm down here with Team Paladrax this weekend. Um, there's two lakes here, top lake, bottom lake. Uh, I'm on the top lake, uh, there's four of us up on there and the remaining five are down on the bottom lake. So we've, uh, we've got the whole venue this weekend. So having a little bit of a social sort of mini competition going on. So I've uh, picked my swim. So if you know the area, I've got swim four, which is far end of the, for the top lake, which I'm quite happy with. You know, got this lovely little cove in here. Some nice little clear patches around there. Um, yeah, the water's really nice, really clear as well. You know, it's not showing up very nicely, um, but it's deep as well, so at the deep end as well. Then I've got someone, uh, swim three going out, someone on swim two, and then the other blokes on the, that swim over there, far end. So nice spread out, everyone's got a good, good amount of water. Um, so a bit of a rush because the weather is not very nice at all. So get the bivvy up quick, get everything in. So I thought I'd do a quick video uh, as soon as I've set up, got the rods out, we'll uh, go through everything. So let's hope for a good weekend. Right, so everything's uh, set up now. It's taken a little while. Um, it's rained non stop since we got here. But uh, all the rods are off. So I've put uh, two in the left hand side. Um, there's some nice clear patches, which you can see the water's really clear here. So um, I've put two out there and I've put two straight out in front of me. Uh, I've got no one else on that page. So um, some nice reeds over there, so I've put some over there. <coughs> um, we are expecting a wet weekend all weekend, um, so I think it's going to be buried up all, all weekend and then just start out, just reset the rods and hopefully we've only got a quarter fish. So um, you can see, made with pallet tracks, um, so this is all um, organised by them. So thank you very much um, for having me, uh, for inviting me along. Uh, it's a real honour. Um, uh, some really good blokes here. Uh, to fish along with as well, so uh, yeah, hopefully it should. Right, um, phone just went off, so that's why uh, it stopped recording sort of halfway through. So, um, so yeah, so um, yeah, tactics um, using the same tactics what I've used on all the others. Um, I'm using the, the, the stone as a, as a weight, um, it's a natural, it's a natural source. I really, really have a lot of confidence in that now. Uh, with the gripper hooks, uh, but I'll show you that uh, tomorrow probably, uh, just to uh, go for it all. Um, bait, um, gone for boilies, um, because uh, just to start off, you know, I've got a lot of, uh, a lot of trust in the boilies I use, um, very confident in them, so yeah, so go with the boilie tactics. Um, see what happens overnight, um, but if nothing happens, then we'll, uh, we'll change things up a bit and uh, to see what we can catch. So, um, yeah, like I said, don't know a lot about this lake, um, but the information I have gathered since being here and talking to the others, some people just being here, uh, speaking to the owner, um, they're very, they're, they speak very easily. So, um, the rods are right back as well. Uh, no rods hanging over the water at all, they're right back. Um, lines, you know, try and keep as much line out of the water as possible. Um, um, the water, like I said, the water's very clear, so, um, that might have something to do with it, um, but yeah, they are very spooky, but apparently there are some gorgeous fish in there, about 60 fish in there, um, but stunning fish, the pictures I have seen and, and, and everything like that, they are absolutely gorgeous, so I'm um, hoping to catch one of them too this week, uh, I'll be really pleased, so um, so yeah, so bivvies, bivvies as far back as it can be, um, and then, um, yeah, hopefully, Stay quiet, stay in the bivvy, um, and yeah, hopefully um, it does the trick, and I uh, land myself a fish. So um, it's time for a coffee now. It's time to warm up. Um, I'm actually drenched. Um, 
so yeah, time to warm up, coffee, change of clothes, um, fight to eat, and then early night I think, so hopefully I've got something to report during the night, um, if not, I will see you all in the morning, cheers for now. morning um so no fish um the weather got quite rough last night uh, i don't think anyone's caught any fish um at all not on both lakes um and the wind has picked up these gale force winds which they said it was coming in come in the rain's come down <coughs> it's so even the buoy's getting wet um inside um, didn't close the door properly so it's my own fault um but yeah, it's, uh, there's, there's no sign of movement at all. Um, no line knocks, nothing. So uh, hopefully, yeah, it's meant to be calming down this afternoon. So hopefully, it's a fish will get up the feed and we catch one. So uh, I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you what I mean when I say I use a stone instead of a lead weight. Um, a few people have asked mean a stone in um, so basically this it is a stone um, built in swivel uh, already um, get them in all different sizes as you, know, as you imagine you, you can't get an exact weight of three ounces four ounces um, you know, if you buy a bundle but um, I bought a pack or three and a half or what, three ounce two and three quarter ounce um, <clears throat> to me it doesn't make much of a difference in in, in the sizes and all that um, but I think they're slightly better um, you can soak them as well so a lot of people um, I've not tried it myself but I'm going to try it um, soak it in the um, liquid you're using and all that because uh, stones are absorbed so they, they, they take on liquid um, uh, so I can see how it works um, it releases that liquid when it goes in the water oh. I mean by the wind um, yes so um, so yeah so it gives you a beneficial of, of that you know you can soak it in the liquid you're going to use and all that to uh, to fish with so um, we're going to try that and then you, uh, I'm going to run through that with you we're going to try it together see where we go with it um, probably do that in the next session I'd to go fishing on uh, a bit late on this one um, but yes um, might go for a walk around the lake later on uh, if it does <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, die down. Um, do a bit of recording around the around the venue because it is a gorgeous venue. Really nice. I will be back in. Um, maybe wait until after the winter, um, just as you know, getting get the summer pushing down it. Uh, they are building a third lake as well, so we've got the two lakes as it is. Top lakes, uh, sixty fish. A little bit harder, um, but the quality of the fish and the weight, I think it's, it's, you know, you'll be really happy with. Uh, bottom lake, more fish, little fish. Um, third lake, I'm not quite sure what they're doing, uh, but it's only going to have about three or four pegs on, three anglers sort of thing at a time. Um, so yeah, so these lakes, you know, there's only four of us on this top lake, but there's only five can fish it. Yeah, it's five can only fish it at once um, on a normal session. So um, it's it's really nice here. Um, and there's an ideal burger bar. Um, Cross the road up Mo Valleys because um, uh, with this COVID at the moment, you're not allowed to turn up early. You know, if you're, you're booked in for one, you have to get here for one. So if you're like me, like to be in places reasonably early, you know, don't like being late. I got down here, popped into Mo Valleys, met up with the with the rest of the team Palatrax, um, bite the eat, had a chinwag, and then made our way five to one and got here dead on time. So. Um, highly recommend that um so yeah it is clearing up as we speak so uh spin around so that weather is definitely getting better much better so hopefully it produces so like i said from here uh, 
got to be there. And then the rest of them in the, uh, in the far corner. Um, but yes, hopefully we can get some footage of some fish, even if it's not my fish. Just, you know, if someone pulls out a fish, I'll be, it'll be an achievement this weekend. So, um, yeah, so hopefully I'll be back with some more footage. Um, hopefully with a fish, but if not, um, definitely a walk around the lake. So, uh, catch you up. We will catch up with you soon, guys. Morning, all. So, uh, yeah, final night's done and no fish. Not a single bleep. Um, and that goes for everyone. Um, no one's caught at the moment. Still got a couple of hours left. Um, but it's not looking hopeful. Um, but hey, it's not going to put me off. So I'll be back here again. It's a stunning lake. Plenty of fish uh, showing. Uh, so uh, about four or five o'clock last night, just before the light finally went, there's a few fish showing. Um, but yeah, so unfortunately, nothing for me on this trip unless something amazing happens near the end. So. And you see, it's starting to pack up now. Um, just got the, the bed and the chair and all that to put away now. And then the bivvy, that's gonna be the last thing. Um, like I said, the view is stunning, look at this. Um, we had some stags in here um, yesterday. Um, they were quite entertaining to watch. Um, but yeah, some pheasants running around as well. But yeah, like I said, the view. Is absolutely gorgeous. This this makes it. I know I've uh, blanked at the moment, but you now just just sitting in this, it's ideal. It's perfect for me. It's nice to get away. So um, yeah. If if we don't get nothing, then uh, this will be it. So um, don't know when I'm fishing next. Um, government just made the announcement last night that on Thursday. Uh, we're going back into the second lockdown, so hopefully, fingers crossed, they um they keep fishing going. Um, but if not, then I think this will be my last trip for 2020. Um, Fishing-wise, 2020 has been pretty good for me uh, and all. You know, both got PBs. Um, both caught a good lot of fish even in the pandemic we could have would have even caught more if the pandemic wasn't here but even though we, we I'm, I'm good I'm happy with 2020 as fishing goes as the uh, as everything else goes and it's time for, time for it to disappear and um, leave us alone so we get back to normal right that's enough for me waffling hopefully there'll be another one before Christmas um, but if not I will see you soon. Bye for now.